Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a cow from the brilliant new book Yes You Can Cow by Rashmi Sodesh Pandey and Rickin Parekh. And to make cow you'll need a cardboard tube, some scissors, a marker pen, some glue, a white crayon, and a brown crayon, or you could use white paint and brown paint. And then for decoration, some eyes, some wool, some pink card or paper, and some red paper. I've got tissue paper here. So let's get started. I've already coloured in my cardboard tube, I've coloured it white. If you paint it, it will come up a bit more strongly white. So you might want to do that instead. But I like crayons because you can't really make it too much of a mess with a crayon. And now I'm going to just colour in some brown patches like cows got all over my tube. I'm just going to colour those in quickly. So you can put them anywhere you like. Wiccan has drawn cow's patches all over. So you can do the same. The front and the back, big ones, small ones, whatever you like. Paint works just as well, but boring bit is having to wait for the paint to dry and with crayons you don't have to wait for anything to dry you're just done straight away so we've got a cow print tube and now we need to turn it into a cow so the first thing we're going to do is cut the shape of the cow's head and give her some horns and some ears so I'll show you how to do that now so this is where you'll need your scissors and we're just going to gently squeeze the tube in half so that you can cut into it from the side. Now, we're going to cut just close to the top of the tube. And this is cow's forehead. So we're just going to cut about a centimetre in. And then a little triangle in from the top. And that's to give cow two horns and then from there you can see that cow's head slopes down into her ears so we're going to do that now just sloping down into cow's ear and then we'll cut from the back of the tube across to join up with that so we don't need that bit and I'm just going to make cow's ear curved in like so we've got a little curve there and then you can squeeze your tube out again you can make cow's ears stick out there she's got two horns now the next thing we'll do is to give cow a little hairy fringe and that's what we need the wool for so we'll just pop the book to one side and I've cut the wool into strands. You probably they probably need to be a few centimeters long, five or six centimeters. And um, what you need to do is put glue across the top of cow's forehead between her horns. A good blob of glue across there, and some more glue at the back inside the tube. Go and then you can start sticking cow's fringe on. So just stick it next to or next to it. So you've got a line of hair like a fringe or bangs, as I think some people call them. It's going to look super cute. So just filling 
up the space between her two horns. I think I've got room for one more. There we go. And then we're just going to fold that into the tube. And then you can stick this down on the other side where you put the glue. Other side. You do get a bit sticky doing this bit. But where's the fun if you don't get a bit sticky when you're making something? So there's cow's fringe. I think that looks really cool. And now we're going to do her eyes. So I've got these little white paper circles, sticky circles. And I've put a little blob inside for the eye. I'm going to put one on one side. And one on the other side. If you want to, you can use googly eyes. But I like to use crafts that can be recycled. So there is Cal's. There are her eyes. She's got a fringe. She's got an eye. She's got horns. She's beginning to look a bit more like a cow. And a bit less like a cardboard tube. So now she needs a nose. And that's what the pink paper is for. So I'm going to put the glue on one side of the nose and just stick it underneath her eyes. And then we're going to give her a smile and some nostrils. So if we have a look at the book again, Cow's got little lines, like it, almost like a V shape for her nostrils. So I'm going to try and do that. Mm -hmm. And then underneath, she needs a nice smile. She's a very smiley cow. So I'm going to give her a nice smile there. Okay, she's got, she looks very friendly. So now I'll give her her front legs which are here at the front and you can just draw those on so there's one line two lines three lines four lines and then some little triangle shapes at the bottom to make a point point in and then a line across and then you can colour those Because Cow is very daring in the story and has to make a giant jump, a leap of faith, she's got her superhero cape on. So that's what I've cut out some tissue paper for to give my cardboard cow her own superhero cape. So all you need to do for this is turn your cow around, put a line of glue across the back of your tube and stick your cape on. There we go. So there is our cow, cardboard cow, to go with fantastic cow in the story. Yes, you can. Oh, and yes, you can make your own cardboard cow.